Have you ever wondered why there exists a deep-rooted fear and misconception about women in society, a fear that seems to spring from the very core of our evolutionary understanding? This fear, often fed by misinformation, pushes these perceptions deeper into our subconscious, where they continue to influence our behavior and beliefs. In mythology, this fear is often depicted through the woman's association with blood, a symbol of fertility. It's not only present in festivals of fertility where the orgiastic element is prominent, but it also manifests in the slaughter of animals, a ritual believed to serve the fertility of women in the earth. The theme of fertility in mythology is often tied to the concept of sacrifice and renewal. In many ancient cultures, death, dismemberment, and castration were considered the fate of the young fertility agent, closely tied with bloody orgiastic rituals in the cult of the Mighty Mother. The dismemberment of the seasonal king and the burial of his body parts were seen as a primitive charm for the fertility of the soil. The preservation of the phallus, symbolizing fertility and castration, together form a complete symbol in these rituals. Behind the archetype of the dwelling mother lies the experience of death, as the earth takes back her offspring, deconstructing and dissolving them to make herself fertile. This profound experience was preserved in rites of the horrible mother who becomes the flesh eater and finally Glosskama, the last remnant of the primitive fertility cult of humans. At this level, castration, death, and dismemberment are seen as equivalent. They are coordinated with the death of vegetation, harvesting, and felling of trees. These rituals find their echoes in numerous myths, such as that of Attis, who castrated himself under a pine tree and transformed into one, which was then cut down. Another form of this sacred sacrifice is the loss of hair. Just as hair is often seen as a symbol of masculinity and strength, its sacrifice is a prevalent symbol amongst religious priests, from Catholic priests, Egyptian hierophants, to Buddhist monks. Regardless of their religious views, hairlessness is associated with abstinence from sex, symbolizing self-castration. The rituals and symbolism associated with women and fertility are complex and multifaceted, deeply rooted in our collective consciousness. They reflect our primal fears and desires and understanding them can help us better understand our own attitudes towards women and fertility. In summary, the deep-rooted fears and misconceptions about women in society often stem from our evolutionary past and are reflected in our myths and rituals. The association of women with blood symbolizes fertility and rituals involving death, dismemberment, and castration are deeply tied to the concept of fertility. Understanding these myths and rituals can help us challenge our misconceptions and foster a more enlightened view of women and fertility.